I'm back at it again. Look, I was trying to, I was trying to be cool and have my leg up here. The hell with that. That ain't gonna work. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Wine Dreams and Wealth. I am Samil. I am on here to talk about bettering your life from the mistakes that I made. So, um, welcome to Wine, Dreams, and Wealth TV. Uh, this is my second episode, and go ahead and like this video, because you're going to like it. Go ahead and subscribe, because you know you want to see what I'm going to talk about. And um, share it if you need to. Share it if you need to, okay? So, lately... I have been on this binge watching of being the chosen one. Yep, being the chosen one. They say it's 144,000 of us, and I feel like I am one of them chosen people. Now, if you want me to do a video on signs that you're a chosen one, uh, leave a comment below and I'll go ahead and, and do that. However, I feel like a chosen one because I can't work no job. <laughs> I, mean, I, I hate working for people. I, I do. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Let me preface this episode by saying I do curse. I'm not extreme with it. I'm not to the point where I can't watch this woman. I'll slip up and say some stuff that kind of goes with what I'm saying. So... We, I'm going to keep it mild here for the YouTube streets. Um, I, I hate working for people. Like, I hate having an employer. Um, and what made me and what triggered me to go ahead and decide to do this video um, was because I was in the Dollar Generals. And uh, while I was in the Dollar Generals, I'm buying my little stuff. I'm buying my little pans and stuff. Because I I started a little hustle of frying turkeys for Thanksgiving and maybe for Christmas, depending on how this goes. Uh, I'm in there I'm getting my stuff. I'm putting my stuff on the little conveyor belt. The girl behind the counter's like, you know what? That's messed up. We can't even be off on Thanksgiving. They ain't got us off on Thanksgiving. I just happened to look at the sign on the door and the sign on the door on one side, Thanksgiving Eve, that's the thing, says that, okay, here's your regular hours. And then on Thanksgiving, closed. And then regular hours on Friday. All right, fine. Now, this is the side in the store. So on the outside of the sign, it says Thanksgiving Eve, normal business hours, Thanksgiving 10 to 8. Or it might have been 10 to 10. So it was longer hours than normal on Thanksgiving. Dollar General, goddamn, you need to be ashamed of yourself. You are not going to lose no money on Thanksgiving. Okay? I can understand if you say 8 to 10, let them people go home and be with their family. Like, that is just a power move that don't even need to be. So, in my episode tonight, I want to talk about, do you like where you are right now? Do you like your job? Just, just go on and say, do you like your job? Do you like your career? Okay. Nowadays, people are making the money outside of these jobs. People are side hustling, turning that into full-time income. People are finding ways to not go back to these people's job. You know, and if you are one of those people that decided, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to work for nobody. And I want to work for myself. I say, God damn it, do it. You know what? Go on and do it. You better do it. There are so many opportunities. It is so much money out here in these streets to make. 
You don't need to work at a Dollar General. You don't need to work at a Family Dollar. Not to say that these people don't need to have employees. But if you ever go to work and you be like, I know I'm better than this. I know, God damn it, I'm better than this. You need to find what you're good at and, and be better at it because you don't need to be there. You're going to be miserable. You'll be sitting up in the car and be like, I be damned. I do not want to do this. I don't want to be here. And they ain't paying me enough. And you know them jobs. All them grocery stores, them fast foods, all them motherfucking jobs is not paying you what you're worth. Nobody is telling you what you are worth. Come, come, come on, come on. Let me taste something. Hold on, let me, let me drink something. You are worth way more than what they are paying you. You do not need to survive in 2022. You need to be living, okay? It is nice to see people's Instagram where they're traveling, where they're spending this money. Don't you want to spend some money? Don't you want to travel? I know I do. Shit. So, I need you to decide today. Flat out, I ain't doing this shit no more. Like, no, I, I don't want to work on the holidays. I don't need nobody to tell me when I can go to the bathroom, how long I can stay in there. Hell no. Like, let's not do this no more. Let's, let's, I mean, they say that this is the great resignation. Like, people are not going to work. People ain't fucking with these jobs, man. They not. I wouldn't either. Unless you at a good company. <laughs> I ain't I to tell you to quit. And you had a good company. They paying you some good money. And you 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 don't have a vision yet. No, you, you stay your ass there. <laughs> I'm talking to the people that didn't change jobs like they changed their drawers. That's all I'm saying. That's that and that should tell you right there. We don't give a fuck about no job. If that's the case, create your own future. There is so much information out here to create your own freaking future. I'm spitting this shit. I am, I am true to this shit. That's how I know. But anyway, the wealth of information can give you the vehicle to the wealth that you can accrue in your life. It's about generational wealth. I ain't got no kids, but I do want to leave here with knowing that I've done all that I can and that I was able to spread the wealth. Even if I don't have kids, I want to know that I was able to spread the wealth, help people, and people know me for the good deeds that I did. Flat out. So, if you work and you don't like your job, if you work at any of these low paying, low vibrational, low um, morale, low um, employee to, to, to store people ratio, shit, I don't know. If you feel like you overworked, there is information on this internet, on these internets for you to stop working for these people and work for yourself. Is it going to be tiresome? Yes. Are you going to put in a lot of long hours? Yes. Are you going to miss out on certain things? Yes. Are you going to be able to go to the club every weekend? No, you ain't. Um, if you decide uh, a lifestyle of entrepreneurship until you're to you um, make that money that you're looking for, you, you're not going to be able to go to the club. The club is going to be the, I bullshit you not. Tell me I'm lying. The club is going to be there. I don't give a damn what city you in. I don't give a damn if they close one club over the nut, close that one over the nut. The club and fun, all that shit gonna be there right now is the focus of you. 
Focus on you. If you know you better than bringing up groceries, if you know you better than cleaning them damn toilets, if you know you better than taking attitude from motherfuckers, I need you to tap in. As the kids say now, tap in to who you are and really, really, really dive deep into what you want to do so you can be happy so that you can retire in a couple of years so you can find ways to make money and you ain't waiting until like 60 years old to retire like i hear stories of people that 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 drive buses for 50 some years they ain't never missed a day they ain't never been sick he was an extraordinary person he was like not even human because First round, uh, first time somebody give me some days off. <laughs> hey, I'm using them. So, and, and, and then and then my point, I was driving, I got lost there. People work 50 and 60 years to retire and then live two years just to be like, I don't have nothing to do and then they die. Like who wants to, no, I'm trying to, I'm almost 40 years old, okay? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make all this money. I'm trying to do all this traveling. So when it is time for me to, to shake, I done it all. Done it all, done it all, done it all, done it all. Shout out, shout out to love. Damn. Anyway, <sighs> I've been on here long enough. I didn't want to keep y'all longer than 10 to 12 minutes. So again, like, comment, share this, and subscribe. I will be back with another video because I want you to stop working them jobs. Bye.